Did you know that hiring a personal branding photographer can be a huge asset for your business? That's what we're going to be talking about today. Welcome to Branding Bites. Hi, I'm Claire Bond, a personal brand strategist and the CEO and co-founder of Stratus Branding. I have been helping people strategize and create their best personal brand for over 10 years and I want to help you leverage your personal brand to develop the authority, influence, and trust you need to exceed your business goals. So do me a quick little favor and subscribe or follow as it really helps me keep this video series going. Thank you. All right, so I already told you that hiring a personal brand photographer can be a huge asset for your company. Now, why is that? Whether you need photos of yourself or your product, a great photographer can do wonders. However, it's not something most entrepreneurs think about. When you hit the ground running for your business, you have your eyes set on leads, advertising, and your end goal, and probably not branding photography, right? But your photos will set you apart from the competition. So where do you start? Number one, gather quality reference photos. If you already have your personal brand down pat, then you probably have an idea of the type of aesthetic and content that you want to be promoting. Before working with your photographer, make sure that you know what style of photography you like best and what best reflects your type of business. Creating a lookbook will be a great way to start. You can do it on your computer and just take little screenshots of things that you really like and put it all together in a collage. Number two, use your reference photos to find local photographers that match your style. Different photographers will have different styles. You'll want to find ones that closely match the style that you are going for, the aesthetic that you are going for. You can find local photographers on photographer listing sites. You can ask a friend. You can even just do a real simple Google search with photographer near me. Then spend some time on their website looking at their portfolio and start creating a short list of photographers that you think would, you would work well with. And a little tip, if you go to the photographer's website and they have like a really bad website or the, or the aesthetic is like really off but you may like something else, if something is not really vibing with you, just move on. Just, just go on, move on, go to the next one. I just, uh, yeah, if something doesn't feel right, there probably something is off and just keep moving on. Plenty of other photographers out there. All right, number three, evaluate the photographer's social media presence. Like any business, a personal branding photographer's social media presence will say a lot about their worth ethic and ultimately their aesthetic, right? If they're willing to take the time to increase their social presence, I'm willing to bet that they will not only be professional, but knowledgeable about their craft as well. I try to vet my photographers by evaluating their social media and obviously their website. It usually showcases their portfolio and it also gives me an idea of what their personality is like because you may find videos on there too, right? Again, if they, the look kind of feels off, move on. Plenty of, of uh, photographers in the sea, so to speak. Number four, always interview your personal branding photographer either on the phone, via video chat, or in person. Once you have a list of your short list of photographers lined up, invite them to connect. It's really important to kind of interview them like you would for a job because you want to make sure there is a connection there. It's really important to have a rapport with your photographer to get the best results. And trust me, I've skipped this part and the photos just did not turn out right. It's really weird. You loved everything about the photographer. Um, they worked with people that you knew, all that sort of stuff, but something about working with them was just really off and we weren't seeing eye to eye. Uh, they had a different idea for what was right for me than I wanted. And yeah, really talk to them and make sure that you guys are on the same page. So I recommend interviewing at least three to five photographers when you're first getting started. So here's a list of kind of starter questions that you should ask during your interview. What is, what are your rates? Really important to know, right? What are your favorite types of photos to shoot? What is your availability? How will the photos be delivered to me? Like you really want, I mean, I think everyone's going to be doing digital photos at this point, but ideally you would want them to 
give you all of the digital photos um, from your photo shoot. You can either do it via an online portfolio or they can just send you a zip file of them. And what size and a resolution will the photos um, that you'll receive be in? You want to make sure that you get high resolution files just in case you ever need to print them for any reason. So these are really important things to know before you start because you'd be amazed um, how expensive it can get if you don't know all the prices up front. So make sure that you ask. And so here's the important thing. Does the quoted price include all of the final photos and high res photos at that? Or is it just a sitting fee? So some photographers will actually charge you just to sit with them. And then, you know, if every photo that you want beyond that is an additional fee. So really make sure that you know what you're getting for the cost. All right, number five, ask about the photographer's process. So every photographer is going to have like a way that they like to work and they should be willing to help you along the way so that you feel more comfortable um, and to ensure that your photo shoot goes, goes on without a hitch. In general, you wanna make sure that you ask them what their overall process is. Will they pick the location? How long will the shoot be? All of these details matter if you want to work with this photographer in the long haul. So just really, if they make you feel weird for asking all of these questions, again, move on because they're not the right one for you. You have every right to ask as many questions as you want, essentially. Number six, what type of photography equipment will they be working with? This is really important in the day and age of like, you know, you can get really good photos out of your iPhone now, right? So anyone can claim to be a photographer. Like how, I mean, if you look up hashtag photographer on Instagram, how many people claim to be a photographer and they're shooting on their iPhone? So you wanna make sure that you find out what they're actually shooting with and that they're not just shooting on their iPhone. Don't be afraid to ask specifics and figure out what it is and do your own Google research to make sure that it's actually professional equipment. So one of the businesses that we have deals with it is a network of professional photographers. So you'd be amazed by how many professionals are out there using an iPhone. So number seven, ask your photographer if and how they will be editing your photos. Some photographers ask for additional compensation for editing. Again, this can go back to the, the number five when I was talking about ask everything, ask what's included. So some photographers will include editing, some won't. So be sure that you know what, what you know all the costs are before you decide to work with that particular photographer. All right. So now that you learned what you need to do to find a personal branding photographer, uh, if you want my full list, I do have a full list of 10 tips on how to find a personal branding photographer. All you need to do is click the link in the description box to go to that blog. And on my blog, I talk about personal branding tips all day long. So you'll get plenty of those tips over there as well. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.